Aloha from Kauai, Hawaii. We are Ava and Will, an adventure-seeking couple who loves to travel and share with you our budget-friendly tips. We continue exploring the island of Kauai, and we take you to Salt Pond Beach Park and Campground, where we continue camping in a tent while on the island for nine nights, but wanted a change in scenery. This area has amazing snorkeling and beautiful views. Then we head for the ultimate Hawaiian adventure, shore diving with Dive Kauai, where we get to witness the amazing diverse sea life. We get to see turtles, eels, stingrays, tropical fish, and many different corals. But first, let's catch you up. We are exploring the island with our friends, OTRX Travel, C. Ray and Chris. Be sure to check out their YouTube channel. We spent our first nights at a Nini Beach campground with lush trees and views. Then we go snorkeling at a Nini Beach and drive over near Lahue to check out the beautiful Wailua Waterfall, a double waterfall with an intense but short hike. So let's follow along on this awesome Hawaii journey with part two. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you know when we post the next video. This looks amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fine dining type food. Yes. <laughs> this is the braised beef that I have and Will has the special. Ahi tuna. Ahi tuna. So, I can't even say this enough. Like one thing that I core feel, food in and of itself, great food is awesome. But what really makes a meal is the company. And we've got literally the best food right we here. Do. And we got the best company. We, we sure are very do. blessed to be with amazing our bestest friends. friends. Our best is new friends. We love y'all so much. And we love y'all yes. back. Man. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to their channel, yeah. OTRX Travel. Travel. Yes. I'm C Ray. And this Chris. Here we go. <laughs> we love y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Time to grow. Yes. Ah. Company is really what makes the best meals the best meals. Oh, wow. Good morning from Salt Pond. What is this called? Salt Pond. <laughs> on the south side of Kauai, Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> Last night after the restaurant was interesting, so needless to say. <laughs> this is our um, casa for like the whole trip, our tent. This campsite's a lot louder. Anini was a much better experience. It feels more quiet, it feels more um, kind of like a home. But last night at this park at Salt Pond, <sighs> there was a party going on. Um, all they the literally way, had karaoke going on. All the way till like about 10. 10. It was about 10, 10, yeah. 15 p.m. And the police were called uh, because there's, uh, I guess, some homeless people here that like to steal things. One of the guys here that were camping knew that this homeless person had stole his computer. Uh, he was like, I saw you steal it. Where's my computer? So, uh, there was a lot of drama last night when we were trying to set up and we set up late into the night. It was dark because the restaurant was just so nice and we were enjoying that area we were at last night. A little too long. <laughs> Moral of the story, you'll read different things about different parks, but we can tell you firsthand experience. Anini is by far the calmest, coolest campsite I've seen in a long, long, long yeah. time. You know, when you have your comfort zone, that's where you want to stay. You know, it's like, I want to stay back at Anini. So we might pack up tonight and uh, go back over there. Go to um, Anini early. For the rest of the time. Yeah. But we're still going to enjoy this place, uh, the beach, and yes, whatever else we can get our hands into and feet into today. Oh, yeah. Camping, other than that, you know, it's been great. I mean, we're protected by, you know, with our tent. We got our air mattress, which I got to have because... I need that for my back, y'all. <laughs> I can't sleep on the hard ground. Um, and then we have all our stuff in here, like, you know, all our electronics and our luggages and stuff. So we feel like, you know, no, ain't nobody gonna mess with us. We got our stuff in here. It's all protected. Um, oh. Y'all hear that? See, it's noisy. Let me tell you what time it is. It's 6.15 in the morning. 6.15 in the morning. And it's bright. Um, it, it's noisy. Um, yeah. It means we get to get our day started mm -hmm. and get as much in as possible. So let's go do that, y'all. Let's go have some breakfast, have some fun in the sun, and see what we get into. Yes. Follow, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
So the cops have arrived again at our campsite because there's some drama going on with some of these homeless people. And uh, I guess they don't got their permits, you know, like they're supposed to. So they called the cops and the park ranger. So make sure you have your permit here because they're serious about it. You've got to have your permit when you camp here in uh, Kauai, Hawaii. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you met each other at the well, you guys, you guys are, you guys met each other at the airport. The, you both have separate YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, had to do and now we're best oh, friends forever. It was months ago. Breakfast. Yeah, breakfast to start with, y'all. Breakfast of the champs. We got pineapple and papaya, <laughs> fresh from the market of Hawaii. What's on the menu, Chef C. Ray? Well, we're gonna do omelets this morning. First off, we're gonna take this chicken and maple breakfast sausage deep. Really tasty. Got a little slight sweet flavor. And uh, we're gonna tenderize them, slice them up. We're gonna put them in the omelet, right? And then we're gonna put some cheese up in there. So basically, Ooh. we're gonna have some basic omelets this morning, Ooh, but they're okay. gonna be very tasty. Oh, mm, that tasty. sounds delicious. <laughs> We've already enjoyed some fresh fruit from the market, yes. like you said earlier, that papaya was I mean, hello, y'all. Really? <laughs> Oh, we got a brand new snorkel here. <laughs> you don't see that? And she oh, she did so good. She, she did so good. <laughs> good. <laughs> she did so good. This is, this is her uh, third or fourth time snorkeling. Yes, like literally she's third getting, time. Yeah, she's getting braver and braver. She did braver it. Braver. My girl did it. Y'all like, oh, saw it. <laughs> give, her, give her some shout out. Give her some praise in the comments. Thank you guys. I Chris did amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girl power! <laughs> Why you smell? Oh, 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 baby. <laughs> Dominic, is it dive kawaii or kawaii dive? Dive kawaii. Dive kawaii. Thank you. day and it is actually beautiful because yes. on Kauai it is the rainforest island of Hawaii mm -hmm. so it's been raining non-stop day whole and night time. <laughs> all of our clothes are just like kind of damp and wet and stuff I'm feeling kind of like bummed out about it but you know it's part of living primitively while we've been camping yeah but needless so, to say yesterday yesterday was baby's birthday we I'm 25 like again y'all <laughs> okay 25 again. <laughs> For her 25th birthday, we did like absolutely no filming. We hung out at a Nani beach at our campsite. Girl, we saw turtles and then we grubbed down on some 
awesome Mexican food. Yes, Mexican for food. Yes, in Hawaii. I it was mm. my birthday. I love Mexican food. Anywhere I go, if, it's, if I see a Mexican restaurant, I'm there. See ya. <laughs> but we are here on this beautiful day in Kaloa and Landing Bay. We are bay. about to go. I mean, scuba diving right there in Hawaii in uh -huh. Kaloa Landing in this mm. really nice bay, which is actually pretty calm for the most part. Uh, we're gonna go down a max of 48 feet, about up to 50 feet. So you let's... know, it's just another dive for the logbook, right? Another one for the record. <laughs> another dive adventure, y'all. Let's see what we find here on the coast of Hawaii. Haven't you ever been curious to know what's in these waters in Hawaii? In but let's Hawaii. go find out and hope there's no sharks. So we are diving <laughs> with a company called Dive Hawaii today. And we are looking forward to hopefully giving a five-star rating and seeing some great stuff in the water. And Dominic is our yeah, dive master that will be mm. taking us along and we'll do amazing, making sure we're protected and safe and okay. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you check out this dive right here, y'all? Right Woo! now! Woo! Adventure time! <laughs> All right, so we're going on our first shore dive. And putting on your gear while sitting in the water is not as easy Very as putting it on while you're on the boat. See you in a second under the water. Thank you. 
<laughs> See that right there? <laughs> See that? Didn't think I could go scuba diving, but I did, but I did, but I did. Y'all, it's still a fear. Struggling with and getting through each time. Each time we go diving, I'm like, I got this. It's it all in my head, y'all. It literally is all in my head. And it seems like most things in life are just in your head you've got to shift your mentality shift those thoughts and basically that's what i have to do i have to go into this relaxation mode and really focus on relaxing and equalizing because that's my biggest issue so i have trouble equalizing and it kind of hurts like i probably sound a little stopped up right now and that's because i'm having a hard time hearing all i can hear is my voice <laughs> but that's what happens to me uh, a lot of people that don't seem to happen to you but if you do have congestion issues it makes it a little tough diving just take it slow, descending and take it slow ascending. That's all you can do. Good morning. These roosters out here. Good morning from a nanny beach, a niney beach. Um, so we're back at this amazing campsite. It's beautiful here. It's so peaceful, it's so rain. So I have actually recently picked up yoga and I'm gonna practice it today. I am not good, so do not judge, because I am an ultra beginner. So let's do this together. I might put this on a little time lapse, just to kinda get through it. Let's go find our zen. Namaste. Thanks for watching our yoga session. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, we're beginners. And this is the first time I've actually directed us, so. And I'm really bad. <laughs> we're both, we're just like, Ugh, how do you stretch? Like, how do you stretch this muscle here? It's really tight. <laughs> so. Um, no, it's one of those things though, as you get older, it's definitely a good thing to start implementing ways to protect the body that you have. I was always kind of like iffy about yoga, but since I've started doing it, it's such a, relaxing, peaceful way to reconnect with your body, your soul, your spirit, your partner, and uh, Mother Earth and what God has gifted us. It's really, especially when you're out in a beautiful location like this. I would have done it on the beach, but it rained horribly last night and it's just all wet. So, as Ava's cleaning up, I just wanted to give you really quick from a guy's perspective that yoga actually kind of makes my back feel pretty good afterwards. But what I really like about it is the closeness that I feel with my spouse. And that's kind of an unbeatable feeling. And you can't really put a price on that, you know? So um, if your girl's bugging you to do yoga with her, you should just give it a try, dude. And um, sorry for any guys that I just got stuck into doing yoga that don't want to. Thank you so much for watching part two of our Kauai Hawaii adventures. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications on when we post next, like this video, and comment what you thought about it. Also, make sure to subscribe to OTRX Travel, our buddies that you saw in the video. Check out this kind of a blooper. <laughs> Yo. Beginner yoga. That is what I am. And that is really hard to balance on, but I feel like it was like a cool spot to kind of get my inner zen, y'all. Namaste.